The Toronto Maple Leafs got a goalie. He's their goaltender and he will be tending the goal. Let's talk about it here in the STPN studios and STPN's free agency coverage is brought to you by 888 Canada, 888 Casino and 888 Sport. If you're looking to put a little sprinkle, consider 888 Canada. And more importantly, because they just launched it and they're real proud of it and they want to tell all of you about it. 888 Canada has a YouTube channel now and it updates daily with daily content. That's content that comes daily. What? Just go, th there's a bunch of videos and I'm in a bunch of them. Jesse Blake's in a bunch of them. Ashley Dawkins in a bunch of them. We played Real Rumble. We played Smack Talk Trivia. That's where Jesse just smacks me. And I say, why did you do that? I'm your friend and he smacks me again. That's not really what happened. If you want to go see what actually happened, you're going to have to go to 888 Canada's YouTube channel. You know what's funny? He, now that I think about it, he does actually smack me in one of the videos. Big hands, big, just like bear paws. It's unbelievable. And I deserved it though. I, I deserved it. I'm man enough to admit that. 888 Canada, check out their YouTube channel. While you're on this YouTube channel, Anthony Stolarz is a leaf. And I got to tell you, good deal. Listen, if you were going to complain about the Leafs salary cap situation as a whole, fine and valid. But the Leafs salary cap crunch is not due to this contract. Darren Dreger breaking that Anthony Stollers has signed a two-year contract with the Toronto Maple Leafs, $2.5 million per season. Now, I'm sure you already saw my video, or at least I hope you already saw my video about Joseph Wall signing his extension with the Leafs where he's going to be making $3.66 million. That extension does not kick in until after this upcoming season. It kicks in next season after the one that is coming up now. That means this upcoming season, he's going to make $766,667 against the cap, which means the Leafs are going to have a tandem of Joseph Wall and Anthony Stallers, two pretty good goalies, making a total of $3,276,667. I don't know if you like the Timothy Lilligren extension, but these two guys combined make just over what Lilligren makes. These two guys combined make about a quarter million dollars less than what Oliver Ekman Larson makes per season. These two guys combined make about half a million dollars less than Max Tomey makes, at very least for this season. Even when Wool's extension kicks in, that's not an expensive tandem. When Wool's extension kicks in, him and Stallers will be making about 6.1, 6.2 million dollars against the cap for a tandem and a tandem that is expected to be at least pretty good hopefully upper half of the nhl that's pretty good value Anthony stollers fascinating goaltender if you don't know much about him he just won a stanley cup just like oliver ekman larson and he was incredibly good he was a really big reason why the Florida Panthers were this close to winning the President's Trophy in the regular season. He had a record of 16 wins, seven losses, and two losses in overtime or shootout. Oh, well, he only got that record because the Florida Panthers are so good. Yeah, but he also got that record because he was on the Florida Panthers and he was so good with a save percentage of 925. Add Anthony Solers to the long list of goaltenders who got away for the Philadelphia Flyers. He is a former second round pick of the Philadelphia Flyers from 2012. Not a very good draft, but that was actually a really good pick by the Flyers and they got rid of him. Amazing that he was drafted 12 years ago and he has still only played 109 NHL games, but such is the life of a tandem slash second slash third goalie for Stollers. He's made the NHL the hard way, but he's been a pretty good goalie pretty much in every NHL opportunity he's had. Over those 109 NHL games played, Stollers has amassed a save percentage over the 12 years of his career of a 914. That's good. If Joseph Wall plays well, Stollers will be a great tandem partner. If Joseph Wall plays really well, Stollers will be a great backup goaltender at a price that you don't really mind paying for a backup goaltender as long as he's a good one. If Joseph Wall gets hurt, as Joseph Wall tends to do, Stollers has shown that he can carry the load for a little while, at very least a little while. Just to show that Stollers isn't a flash in the pan with a team that ended up winning the Stanley Cup, he played 28 games a couple seasons ago with the Anaheim Ducks, who were not good. He had a 12-8-3 record, which is gosh darn miraculous on a team that bad, with a 9-17 save percentage, which might be even more miraculous. Compare that to his counterpart from that season, John Gibson, who had a 9-04. Anthony Stollers is a good goalie. He's a good goalie, guys. Now, you might say, well, he's unproven, and there's some truth to that. 
It's proven he can stop NHL pucks. That part I'm not worried about at all. What's not proven is that he can play a lot of games. He played 27 games this past year and his career high is 28. Those are the only two times he's ever played over 20. Keeping in mind though, that's only at the NHL level. He's played a ton in the minors over his career. So it's not like it's something he's incapable of doing. He just hasn't had the opportunity. This could be his opportunity to play a big old bunch of games. If Stollers and Wool split the net this year, roughly, there's a good chance that the Leafs stop more pucks than they allow. Craig Berube won a Stanley Cup in 2019, and he didn't even really have two playable goalies. He just had Jordan Bennington on a Cinderella run. Now, ironically, he'll have Anthony Stollers and Joseph Wall, who was born in St. Louis. Stollers is from Edison, New Jersey. I just, there's, there's no connection there. Got your hopes up. When was the last time the Leafs had an all-American goaltending tandem, though? I'm trying to think if, like... I was about to say Ed Balfour, but no, he was Canadian. He just had bald eagles on his helmet. And it's a shame because Mike Babcock would have loved this guy. Six foot six, 243 pounds. He's going to be that every time he steps on the ice. You just know as part of their free agent discussions, Barube and Brad Trilliving were like, so, so like, do you play defense too or? Bonk, go to Horny Jail. What do you think of this signing? Let me know in the comment box down below. For now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends if you're not watching SDPN's coverage on the SDPN YouTube channel, go to jail.